going on my pt peeps and my walking dead family one eye bride back to talk about the walking dead season eight and do a discussion about simon and season eight as a whole so obviously spoiler warning if you're not up to date of the show and you don't want to talk about episode 805 stop watching now so spoiler warning but for those who want to know and want to talk about it and discuss it a little bit here we go guys so episode 805 is this sunday and it looks to be the negan sanctuary return to the sanctuary father gabriel walkers everywhere you know, episode. So I saw the first three minutes of the episode for episode 805, and it starts with Father Gabriel, and it's a little flashback scenario, a different timeline a little bit. It's before the attack on the sanctuary, and then you see Simon with Gregory is the more important part for this video. But Simon talks with Gregory. Gregory is at the sanctuary, but Simon definitely knows some things. And if you saw the trailer breakdown that we did, Simon is kind of mad at Dwight. So maybe he's mad at the situation. Maybe he knows Dwight had to have a plan in something like this because how could they get in there without help has to be the thought process of Simon. How could Rick get there without help? Dwight is interesting because is he playing both sides? We'll see what they do with that on the show as they stick to the comic storyline or mix it up a little bit for the show. You know, you have Daryl on the show. He's not in the comic, so Dwight has to do that. Simon's not in the comic either. So that some differences should happen for this. So either way, Dwight, Negan, Gregory, Simon, Eugene, Gavin, the sanctuary is gonna be, we're finally gonna get some answers there. But Simon, I think knows something is up. He might have caught on to Dwight was working with something. He pro maybe not have trusted Dwight from when Daryl escaped. That probably has to come back around too. So Dwight is in trouble, I would assume. And if you saw from the trailer breakdown that we did, Simon comes right up to Dwight's face. And I would assume Simon is the next in line. If Negan goes down or Negan's preoccupied, obviously he's stuck in the trailer with Father Gabriel, Simon's gonna take over, which makes sense. So I would assume Dwight and Eugene are gonna start coming together a little bit more. And this might be the very beginning of that where Eugene does a more of a flip and turn on Negan because you know Eugene is open to the highest bidder right now, kind of like Gregory is, going to play both sides, but eventually Eugene has to come to Rick's side, right? We'll see, but I think it's the start of that. It has to start at some point of the season, and I would believe episode five is a good point for that. Hopefully, we'll get some answers of how Negan and this group is going to get out of the sanctuary because... Rick has the guns now, so they're trapped in there. They should have some guns and some weapons, but not the big gun, the 50 cal. Simon and those guys should have known something because they moved the gun the day before, or the big guns, the 50 cal gun, before, the day before Rick attacked the outpost and the sanctuary. Pretty interesting. Simon is going to be running things. Just from the body language, how it was in the trailer, I would assume that he has a plan to get stuff going at the sanctuary and he's not playing both sides he's team negan and he's for the sanctuary people so we'll see what happens with that we'll see if we lose any people as well but you know people are thinking is there a spy is there someone that how do they know that i think that simon found out about the white playing both sides and simon talked to negan and said look i have a bad feeling about the white or Rick, or the war, or something, let's do this, or let's do that without people knowing. I doubt Dwight knew that the gun was going to be moved, and then I doubt Simon or Negan knew that Rick and then would end up with the 50 cal and the explosives and everything anyway. So the plans are kind of getting a little jumbled here, because when Negan came out, when Rick addressed the sanctuary, the front door, the main entrance there, Negan came out and was like, I was in a meeting. And you're like, what was the meeting? Who was he talking with? Hopefully that gets answered this episode. But I would assume that the meeting was Negan and Simon without the white leaving that out about moving the guns or doing this or having Gregory be there. Because Gregory, we'll talk about more of that in a second, was pretty essential to that, even though we knew Gregory in the comics was going to be there. But Gregory actually didn't go to the sanctuary. He went to the outpost. That's what I'm told in the, in the first three minutes. But Negan and Simon versus Rick and Daryl is a great way of putting it because that's one and two versus one and two. And it's, I don't know. I mean, I'm interested to see how this goes down in episode 805. You got Negan coming out here and he's a little overconfident. I guess he thought and felt that the hilltop were going to back away 
from Rick and the attack on there because Gregory was inside. He already knew that they were coming. Simon knew that Rick and the group was coming to the sanctuary to fight. It's in the first three minutes. It's what I gathered from it, that it's Gregory and Simon, and Gregory is sitting in some little room, and, and there's a knock on the door, and then Gregory talks with Simon, and Simon's like, I made you even pancakes with Hilltop Sorghum. And Gregory's like, oh, yeah, all right. yeah." And he's like, kind of, why did you bring me here? Because Gregory went to the outpost. That's where Simon was. Simon left the outpost and went to the sanctuary. So Simon was supposed to be at the outpost, the one that Morgan... Diane, Jesus, Tara hit. That's why the painting was there. I guess that's the one that uh, Simon took over after they lost it initially and Simon went over there and took it back. When the plan fell through that Gregory was supposed to help Negan and the sanctuary and his lieutenants have Hilltop leave Rick and they would lose all those people and it fell through, Simon was like, I invested a lot in you. Boom, push him down the steps, and it didn't work out. Simon is pissed. So Simon knew so, so much information, and I hope it's really answered in that. I'm telling you, watch the first three minutes if you don't mind spoilers and you want to see it to see what you gather from it, guys. It's a lot of good information. It's only three minutes. Part of it's with Father Gabriel saying that, you know, it'll flash back to before he attacked the sanctuary. But it's good information between Simon and Gregory to get a little more analysis of what's going on with this and how did Simon or Negan know about the attack on the sanctuary before it happened. So post your comments below, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it. I'm very interested to know what you're thinking about it for episode five and the series. If you can, guys, give me a follow on Instagram at the PT channel and Twitter as well at the PT channel. We got a Walking Dead community page on Facebook. We got a group and a page, two things to follow. It's a good community. We uh, do some cool things there. Fight for us, my book series. Got three books out now. Book four will be coming out very soon, probably within a week. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. We have a goal of 100,000 subscribers. We're growing every day. If you can, hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching, guys.